What's up guys? Today we are going to be making some really cool um, Spotify artwork. Uh, so Spotify has this feature that I don't think many people know about, which is they allow you to, um, they give you like a custom code for each song. And if you send the image to somebody uh, or if you have it somewhere, uh, you can actually scan it on your phone with the Spotify app and it'll automatically play this song in your Spotify player. So um, you might have seen some of these floating around already, but if you're wondering like what are people using this for? Is it just decorative? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I already thought of like three different gift ideas using these. <laughs> uh, they're really cool because, you know, you can really make it something personal. So the one I'm going to be showing you is, um, is from my wedding. So I'm using my wedding song for, for this example, but you know, you can do so many different things because you know, songs mean so much to us. And, um, I'm sure you can think of a few occasions where a song has reminded you of some major event in your life, um, or just of a person. So these make really great gifts and they're not that hard to make. Uh, there was a lot of initial design work, but I have done it all for you. And uh, you can once again, grab that file over at my blog. I will link everything in the description down below, including all the fonts and everything. Um, so just follow along with me and I will show you how we're going to use my template files so you can make this yourself. Okay. Um, it might take a little while because of the steps, but I'm going to walk you through it. So bear with me. The first thing we're going to do is head over to Spotify. So this is the web browser um, Spotify player, but you can also do this on your phone. All you need to do is log into Spotify. You're going to find a song. OK, so I'm going to be using Big Jet Plane. And when you click on the song, um, there's these three dots. So it's the same thing in the app. I believe in the app, it's kind of like over here by the actual song name. Um, but if you click on the three dots, oh no, it's at the top. Sorry, I remember now. It is at the top near the search bar. Um, but if you click the three dots, you can copy the song link. Okay, this is not the code that you're going to be scanning. I'm going to show you how we're going to get that. So copy song link. Um, there is a way to see this code in the app, but it's not in a format that we want to use because it's going to be really hard to cut it out on the Cricut. So um, anyways, grab that link. And then you're going to go to this website. It's called spotifycodes.com. OK, it's the first thing that will pop up, pop up in Google if you search for Spotify codes. And you're going to paste that link that you just um, you just copied from Spotify. And here there's no image and that's fine. Um, yeah, they, they don't give you the image here, so you don't you, you can't really grab that. Um, but you'll see here this this little part here, okay, that is the code that Spotify uses to um, identify the song. So we don't need to touch the background color or the bar color or the size, but I am going to ask that you make sure that the format is SVG. Okay, so make it an SVG, click download. There's some cool fun animation there. It's going to do awesome. Um, and yeah, put that somewhere on your computer that or or your phone, wherever, um, that you can access because we're going to pull that into Cricut Design Space when we're ready. OK, the other thing I want you to do before you open Cricut Design Space, um, if you've ever downloaded fonts before, you'll know that if you have Cricut Design Space open and you download a font, it is not going to show up. <laughs> so close out of there if you have it open right now um, and you're going to go to Defont. OK, once again, the links are all down below, so you don't have to actually do the search. Um, but I'm going to just show you how I do the search. <laughs> so I'm going to search for uh, Made Tommy. And this is the font that we want to grab. OK, so if you click on that. You'll see that it has like all of these awesome weight, like font weights. Font weights is kind of like how how bold a font is. Um, so go ahead and download this. OK, and then install that in your computer. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this, this video. Um, I'll maybe make another video to show you how to actually install fonts. But for now, just know that you're going to download the font. There'll be a zip file. You mostly just double click on the font links and they all install on your computer. Um, now, the tricky thing is <laughs> I, re I realized that Cricut Design Space is really finicky and they're not going to actually load every single one of these fonts, which is unfortunate because um, I like having different font weights when I make designs, but there's enough in there that we'll be able to use. OK, I found this font 
one of the closest to the Spotify font. That's why I'm using it. But if you want to use any other font, like be my guest, of course. It's just this is the one that I liked closest to how Spotify kind of looks. Um, and the other thing to note is that this is only free for personal use. So if you decide to sell this to you to your customers, um, please make sure you grab the commercial license, which once again is in the description down below. Okay, please grab that. Don't don't pirate the stuff. It's you don't want to get into that kind of that kind of thing. It's not worth it. Um, anyways, all right, grab that font. Now we are going to um, head over to Cricut Design Space. And one more thing, which I'm not going to show you how to do, but head over to my blog, which is down below, um, and uh, grab that free SVG file. That is the template file that you need to load into Cricut Design Space so I can show you the next steps and it'll make your life so much easier. All right. So once you have those three things done and downloaded, um, open up your Cricut Design Space. We're going to head over to upload. And we are going to uh, load in that Spotify plaque SVG file that you downloaded from my blog. OK, I think I'm going to rename this so it'd be template. But anyways, you're going to grab that file you downloaded from my blog and you are going to load that in. I have designed this to the frame that I will be showing you, which is a dollar store frame that I grabbed. It is an eight by 10 um, maximum frame size thing. You know how they, they basically size frames, not by, not by the actual frame size, but the uh, the size of the picture you can put in a frame. So this is an eight by 10 frame. I'll talk about my frame choice a little bit later, but uh, for now, let's just work on the design. Okay. So once you loaded this in, I know you're kind of like, why is it green and red and blue? Um, so that's kind of the template that I have for you. OK, so you don't uh, well, you are going to be deleting these layers, as, as you will see. It's just so it's kind of a placeholder so you can see what I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you how to do the images first. OK, so upload an image. So what I've done, you know what? I will show you the steps. I've selected an image. And I've actually designed this to fit how I want it, but I will show you what you can do if it doesn't actually fit and how you can make that kind of your own. So I took this image and I uploaded it. Um, and then when you do upload it, you want to save it as a print and cut. OK, print, then cut. All right. And then once you've done that, uh, you can insert this image. Mine is massive. Just ignore that, please. And I'm going to size this down so you can see what I'm going to do next. Cool. So I'm going to leave it intentionally very big. Uh, I'll resize it after, but I want to show you how you're going to do this. OK, um, so you want to go grab. Let's ungroup this. And you want to grab this green layer here. OK, so you want to resize. You want to resize your image based on this green layer. All right, this is probably the best way we're gonna do it. Okay, so change the cut temporarily to engrave, okay? This will allow you to kind of shift your image around below so you can see how it's going to fit in your frame. So let's say this is how I want the cut to be. What I'm gonna do is go back here. I'm going to un-engrave, I'm gonna go back to cut, okay? And I'm gonna select these two layers and I'm going to slice. Now watch what happens here. Cool. So now you'll see that I have three layers here. OK, see how it cut out my picture. You can kind of see it in the preview here. So if I were to delete this and delete my green one, look at that. Look at that. So now it fits right now. You know exactly what your cover is going to look like. So that is how you're going to play with that to uh, add your own image. Now, um, I know a lot of people are using like al the actual albums images. Um, I just caution against that, especially if you're selling it for copyright reasons. Um, but if it's for personal use, hey, why not? I guess <laughs> I just can't condone that. So <laughs> I am using my own pictures. Um, now, this is great to use your own pictures because then you can really make it personal. So the song that I've chosen is from my wedding day. So I am using my wedding photo to kind of represent that. So when I see this hanging on my wall, you know, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the wedding song. And you can scan the barcode and hear it. Um, OK, now I'm going to go back and actually resize this appropriately. So it actually fits. <laughs> OK, cool. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is upload this is my song file. Okay, that's the, that's the file we got from the Spotify codes. So you are going to uh, 
upload that in here and it will I shouldn't ask you for print and cut because it's not a it's, it is an SVG image so it should be fine um, let's insert that in and here we're gonna resize it to this template so we're gonna put it underneath our picture and we are gonna shrink it down to fit there okay um, next we are going to delete this black layer so we'll delete that and also this black layer because we're done with that now perfect um, yeah, some kind of stuff in white vinyl just underneath. So that's going to look really nice. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's hide that and hide that and hide all these little itty bitty things. All right, cool. Um, so now let's add our text. Okay, so we have three text areas. One is for the name of the song. One is for the artist. And this one is for the end time. Okay, just a little nice thing that I thought I'd add. If you don't want this, you can delete this. Um, it's just, it's this one here. You can delete that, but then also, you know, you can delete the zero, zero, zero as well. Um, so if you really don't want to cut those out, um, that's fine. Um, I'm going to include them in my design. I'll show you how we're going to do that. So let's add some text. So my song is called Big Jet Plane. And th the really unfortunate thing about Cricut is that it is not really font friendly. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to search for Made Tommy. If you don't see it here, it's probably because um, it didn't install properly or you forgot to close out of your Cricut Design Space and restart it. So try that first before you do anything else. Um, and uh, and yeah, do that first. Do that first to troubleshoot. OK, so here's what I mean by it's not really like font friendly. Okay. You see how I left spaces here in between the words, but it really didn't do that down here. So we are going to have to manually fix that, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but that's what we're going to have to do. Um, now remember how we had all those different font weights? Yeah. Cricut Design Space does not load those in. That is very unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. We have bold and regular and we will work with those. So let's select bold. Awesome. And the next thing I'm going to do is make this white do that now it'll make your life easier for the next few steps and um we're gonna shrink that down to fit okay now your your font you're sorry your song's probably not gonna fit exactly in here what you're pretty much using this for is a guide whoops is a guide for the um the edge the edge to line it up all right so i want this to start right there see that so that that way it lines up with my picture um so it might be longer might be shorter um depending on how long the name of your song is i'm just going to show you how this is done so um you see how to line it up okay so the next thing i'm going to do um is ungroup this this is where things get dangerous once you're happy with the font size just remember that the next step what we're going to do is kind of space this out a bit more. So you want to make sure there's enough room over here for you to do that. OK, if there isn't, shrink it down some more. Um, so next, we're going to ungroup. And basically what that did now was made every single letter a separate cut, <laughs> uh, which is fine because we do need them to be cut. But um, in order to adjust the spacing, we're going to have to manually move it. So I'm going to make this a little bit easier and select each word well, each letter in a word and group those. OK, and same thing with this jet is a word. Group those. And big is a word and group those. Cool. Um, that's just going to make my life a lot easier because um, when I adjust the spacing, which you will see in a moment, I'm not doing every single letter. So I'm going to move over jet and plane. I'm just going to tap my arrow button once. And then I'm going to select just plain and tap my arrow button again and see that's much better for spacing, right? So now we can delete this red layer. Awesome. Um, and then let's do our uh, artist name. So Inge, oops, Angus and Julia Stone is mine. Cool. And for this one, we want the um, thinner font. So it'll be a regular instead of the bold um, for the artist name. And this one, I'm going to quickly show you. I believe it's like a nine. 
to actually make this work. I'm going to zoom in so I can see this better. Oh no, sorry, the nine is actually for this thing down here. Okay, um, let's try 15. Okay, that's a little bit better. Oops. And I'm going to make it just slightly bigger. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm going to delete this blue layer. Where'd it go? Don't mind me. I'm just really anal about little things like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to group each of these words. All right. And same thing. I'm going to select each of these words. Press my space bar once. Press each of these words. Press my space bar once. And press my space bar once. And personally, I'm not really satisfied with how that looks, so I am going to manually adjust it further. Yeah, if you have an actual like graphic design program, this would not be an issue. Because that's the way I've designed it, this was not an issue. Um, it just seems to be in Cricut Design Space where this gives you problems. Okay. And here is where I made a mistake. As in, I forgot to change this font to white. So now it's kind of a pain because I have to select all those layers and change it to white. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, one final thing we're going to do is add the time here. So I'm going to uh, do that again. And you can find the time like on the actual song. Okay, so minus three minutes and 58 seconds. And this one, I think, is the nine. All right, and then I'm going to delete this layer. Zoom out. All right, that looks pretty good. So this is all going to be white. In white vinyl and then this is going to be my print and cut now there's one final thing we need to do before we can actually go to cut and that is to select everything so i did control a for that um or command a on the mac and then i'm going to unselect this to press shift and click on that um because we don't want this to shift okay so i'm going to click all of those and attach awesome so now that it's attached, we can go ahead and make it. So we're going to have our printing cut. That's our first mat and our vinyl cut, which is the second one. You don't have to mirror this. This is permanent vinyl. We are not doing a heat transfer and this is not really going on the back of anything. So um, you can leave this. Now we are going to cut it out. All right. So just follow the prompts in your computer. Um, the setting for your vinyl should be just regular permanent vinyl. Uh, and yeah, let's cut it out. All right, so these are the frames that I'm using. These are from Dollar Dollarama in Canada. It was like $3, I think. Um, this is a floating frame, okay? And I really like this because it's gonna give a really cool effect when we finish this project, you'll see. And it's also kind of like squished in between two, so you don't have to think about like, all right, well, do I put it on the front or the back? You'll see. All right, so let's open it up. And let's pop out the back. Cool, so there are two glass pieces here. We can leave the front one in there. And we can throw away this cover art they have here for us. Here 
here is the problem with dollar stores. They have so much gunk and these these things don't come off easy. This is like really gross. All right, I want to try Goo Gone now. Oh yeah, that's good. Guys, if you're in Canada, you can also get Goo Gone at Dollarama too. So go grab that. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna worry too much about that one because that is where my song is gonna go anyways. All right, so we've got one of our glass frames. If you have an st ugly sticker like mine, just um, just kind of leave that because we're gonna cover that up anyways with, <laughs> with our patterns. I've got my glass, I've got my tools. This was my print then cut, that's all done. And I've got my, uh, my vinyl cut out and my transfer tape is ready, okay? I haven't done this step yet, and I'm gonna show you why. So, on my transfer tape, I'm gonna peel this off. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that on my vinyl. And I'm gonna do what's called reverse weeding, okay? Which means I'm now going to flip this to the back and start weeding those out. So we're going to peel off the backing. Perfect. And one way I can make this a little bit easier is to take your cricket mat and stick that on there. Gives a surface to help hold that down when we weed. All right, I'm gonna weed this out. I'll see you guys when this is done. Now we have it weeded out. Not gonna lie, guys, that was kind of a pain in the butt to weed out. <laughs> um, yeah, the text is pretty intricate, so you gotta be really, really careful with that. Anyways, we are now ready. So what I've done is I've taken my um, my cutting mat here, which works as a really great guide to make sure we're gonna get this straight and uh, also to make sure we're gonna get it right in the center, okay? So I'm putting it in the corner here. We are looking at three and a half, roughly here is probably this, the actual center of this. Okay, so let's start positioning so that the corner aligns there so I know exactly where I'm placing this. Okay, so I'm placing it right here. I'm going to grab my glue stick. Awesome. And now we're going to position this right underneath. And that B, remember how we use that guide to make sure our B lined up? Which is just perfect because then we know that's going to go on that line there. Carefully remove this. Awesome. Let's take a look at that without our board here. Cool. And let's pop it back in. There we go. Look how awesome that looks. Doesn't that look great? If you like this video, Give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments, comments down below what you'd like to see next. Alright guys, until next time, bye!